The life cycle of the termite begins with a mating flight, wherein swarming winged reproductive males and females leave established colonies and procreate. After fertilization, winged termites land and shed their wings, going on to form new colonies. These insects then become the king or queen termites of their newly established colonies. The queen and king termites are at the center of the termite life cycle and are responsible for reproduction. The king. His main job in life is to mate with the queen. Also, through chemical secretions known as pheromones, he and the queen determine how many of their offspring develop into workers, soldiers or reproductives. In five years, a king and queen can grow the colony into a million termites. The queen. Her only job is to lay eggs. She is fed by the workers. Along with the king, she also secretes the pheromon that controls specialization in the colony. A queen can live for 25 years or more. Reported to reach a production of more than 2,000 eggs a day. Eggs. After the fertilized queen lays her eggs, they hatch into pale white larvae. Eggs hatch into larvae and molt to develop into workers, soldiers, and primary or secondary reproductives. The queen can lay from several hundred to several thousand every day. The eggs take about 30 days to hatch into larvae. Larvae. These immature termites are fed through the salivary glands of the king and later by other mature worker termites. Based on chemical messages received from the queen and king, the larvae will develop into one of five specialties. Over the course of several molts, these larvae grow to assume a role in one of the three termite colony castes, workers, soldiers, and reproductive termites, also known as elates. Nymphs An intermediate stage, nymphs are destined to become one of two types of reproductive termites. While they wait, they help in the care of the larvae and the king and queen. A nymph is a young termite that is going through molts, a process of shedding its exoskeleton, to become a reproductive. First, a termite develops a soft exoskeleton under its current, hard exoskeleton. Then, once the termite has reached maturity, its outermost skeleton splits open, and the new exoskeleton enlarges and hardens. This molting process continues throughout a termite's life cycle based on the colony's needs. Workers the bread and butter of the colony. They forage for food, eat wood, feed the queen, the king and the soliders and care for the larvae. They are sterile. Soldiers. They can't chew wood, so others must feed them. But they can kill. If the colony comes under attack, the soldiers slash with their oversized mandibles and emit a thick, glue-like substance that immobilizes invaders. Winged reproductives, or elates. In a mature colony, thousands of nymphs will develop wing pads and become winged reproductives. They grow long, fragile wings and feed themselves, waiting for swarming season. The winged reproductives reach maturity and, when the time is right, head into the sky on moss, creating the familiar and dreaded swarming ritual. They fly away from their home colony, toward any light source, then fall to the ground, Delates. Only 1% of the tens of thousands of elates survive the process of leaving the colony, landing and looking for a mate. Those that survive will pair off, beat their wings from their bodies, and begin a highly structured mating ritual. New Royalty. In the rare instance when wood, water and a matched set of delates come together, they may themselves become king and queen. A new colony is born.